Hello, welcome to today's The Word in a Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is dealing with rejection. I'm coming to you today from my studios in Tampa, Florida. So it's nice and warm down here. It's time to get a good message over across to you. Uh, I brought this thing up because sometimes we go through things in life and don't know why, but then it wound up being an inspiration to others that you can share with them how to deal with life's problems. To that point, the main purpose of this message today is for you to get over what man thinks of you and only go by what God thinks of you. Luke 10 and 16 reads, The one who hears you hears me. The one who rejects you rejects me. And the one who rejects me rejects him who sent me. This brings to mind a song. It's an old song that was sang by Lynn Anderson. And it's called uh, Rose Garden. Some of the lyrics to that song goes, I beg your pardon, I never promised you a rose garden. Along with the sunshine, there's going to be a little rain sometime. The song later goes on to uh, say, I could sing you a tune and promise you the moon, but if that's what it takes to hold you, it just as soon as let go. But there's one thing I want you to know. You better look before you leap. Still waters run deep, and there, and there won't always be someone there to pull you out and you know what I'm talking about. The point behind this is that people will let you down. You know that, I know that. And sometimes those people can be close family members. How many of you know that most often it's the people that you love most that will let you down? Psalm 34, 17 through 20 reads, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. This is especially true for those of you who are out there trying to live your life with Christ. You must remain steadfast in what God leads you to do, no matter what people do uh, to discourage you from doing what you're supposed to do. And that's when it seems to get the worst. It's when you're out there trying to do right, uh, those people who you care about will sometimes let you down. You may have friends that will reject you and family members that will turn their backs on you, but you must remain faithful unto the Lord. John 15 and 18 reads, If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. Some people just act crazy or either jealous of you when they see you out progressing. After all, who are you to be out there doing well in your life when they knew the financial struggles you had two years ago? Who are you to have a happy marriage when they know what your spouse did to you last year? Who are you to be living in a nice house out in the mountains and enjoying life when they know the medical problems you had in your past and how you cover from those and now doing well? Who are you to be able to do that? Some people look at that as they're jealous of it. I don't know why. They should be happy for you. I've had it happen to me where I share it with family and friends, a blessing that God gave me during the time I was retiring from uh, federal service. And would you believe that later on that blessing got threw up in my face? Yes, it happens. But you got to remain faithful to God and dis disregard those negative people, those negative emotions that people try to pull you back uh, and reject you because you're being blessed. For those of you that are feeling rejected by your family, I have you know that oftentimes it's just a lie the devil is, is uh, portraying to you uh, just to get you to feel that way. For those of you that have been truly rejected by your family, know that God will always take you in. He'll love you no matter what and no matter what someone else has said or done to you. Psalm 27 and 10 reads, 
for my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Look, I know how painful it is to feel rejected. I have to deal with that occasionally myself. I'm not gonna go into details about the different things because to me, that's history. I don't need to go back to those kind of things again. But you need to know that God will, will bring you, lift you up out of your sorrow. He will bless you during a time of rejection. You ought to know that God is always on your side. I pray for your strength, encourage you to keep going and don't give up no matter how bad things look. And with that, be blessed.